Hello guys, my name is Angel. Welcome back to Dev Plus Plus. Today's episode, we're going to be talking about JavaScript conventions, specifically avoiding importing and exporting from the index.js on application modules. So let's go into it. So very quick, uh, these are conventions that I use uh, based on my experience, uh, you know, doing software development. Uh, this is applied on JavaScript or TypeScript source codes. And specifically, and this is kind of like really important, this is specifically for application development, right? Uh, at least in this case, this convention. So this is the first disclaimer that I'm, do, that I'm doing here, right? This convention only affects code style. It doesn't have anything to do with performance, uh, you know, or stability. Um, it only affects consistency. And the reason for this, for avoiding importing and exporting from uh, this type of files is because uh, JavaScript allows you to, when you're creating a, a, you know, a symbol, a function, a variable, or a component, if you're doing React, you are allowed to uh, put this in the index.js file of a folder, which is also called a JavaScript module, right? Uh, and do the import from the folder path instead of from the specific file where you define the symbol, right? So I will just give you a simple example doing React. Um, and again, just to reiterate in the disclaimer, this convention is not applicable to libraries or shared node packages because uh, I think, or in my opinion, uh, this makes sense to do it there because it's where you can, you know, hide or, you know, simplify the way that you're importing and exporting symbols in order to provide a cleaner interface to whoever is using your shared library or shared node package, right? So um, this convention goes, you know, avoid, mod uh, avoid module exports from index.js and in the code and the code base uh, for developers, especially new developers. This is a common ap approach because you avoid long paths and, you know, it's just simpler in a way. Uh, just in my uh, personal experience and preference, uh, I don't like to do it this way. Right. So let's say that we have uh, two folders, folder A and folder B. Right. We have two files in the folder a one called view and what called uh, view two which they both exports view one and view two components right um so let's say that we want to use view three in uh in uh sorry we want to use view one and view two in the view three file so this is the way that i will do it right i will do the import name name uh, import just because i also prefer name exports uh you know instead of default exports in the full path to the file where this symbol is defined, which is view one. In this case, it's the same uh, name, but th that is just also a convention for React, right? Uh, use the same name of the, as the component that you're exporting for the module, right? So you import view one, view two, you use render it on view three, and that's fine, right? Uh, the way that this is done using index.js uh, file is that just for an example, in the folder A, right, which again, the folders are also called JavaScript modules, you do an import of the elements within that folder, right? And then from view three, you can simply do an import from the module pad, from the folder pad, right? Uh, just because, uh, you know, index.js is something that the the node runtime understand, uh, you know, as something that belongs to the name of the folder, right? So this, as you can see here, um, I can highlight, highlight some problems. I summarize them here, like uh, maintaining an unnecessary index.js file is, you know, a source of errors. Uh, every time that you create a new component, you have to remember to put it there because that's where you normally gonna, uh, you know, import it. Or even worse, sometimes you do it and sometimes you don't with you know, creates that inconsistency, which is precisely one of the goals of creating conventions, right? Not to be inconsistent regarding the solutions that you uh, provide to the same problems, right? Um, in my opinion, the real purpose of this strategy is encapsulate, uh, you know, how your objects are organized or your source code. Uh, so this is precisely something that is done, uh, you know, for shared packages or node modules or NPM libraries that you want to create but not necessarily in application development. In application development, you want to be super clear, very explicit where things are because, you know, a lot of the debugging reasons and a lot of, you know, changes that you're doing to your application 
and you know also collaboration that you're doing with other developers right um, keeping this option available on open precisely creates inconsistency because some people do it and some others they don't like to do it so then you create that inconsistency where your code looks some uh, you know looks one way in one place and looks different in another place right um, Completing imports give you like the exact location of the resource. Again, this is being like super open and super explicit regarding where your code is and where your components and symbols are defined in order to make easier debugging. And also very important opinion, like debugging tools, uh, uh, you know, or specific tools that work with introspection, uh, they not always recognize this type of patterns as something uh, that they, uh, you know, they used to locate code or locate symbols. So some examples of this are like doc, document generators, documentation generators. Uh, I, I usually had that this problem with IDs navigation that they usually don't know uh, where a file is if I want to navigate to a file or give you code hints, right? You put a number of uh, a name of a symbol and the ID has some trouble locating the symbol just because it's it's, in, it's exported in some index.js file, right? In you know, finally, the final thing regarding this uh, JavaScript convention, it is more than style and, than nothing else, right? I'm sure that there is a lot of people there that don't like this and use index.js files a lot for everything and they code just fine and they don't have any problems with debugging or anything like that. Uh, this is just highlighting why I'm making this choice and why this is a convention that I use personally in all the projects that I participate in. So guys, thank you for listening. Uh, you know, I hope this content is very useful. Remember to hit the like button, comment and subscribe to the channel and I'll be seeing you next.